Hello everybody, welcome to our video project. And today our group are going to present them about the electromagnetic. Before we going to start, let's get some warning about the safety issue. In this lab, you are not allowed to use the voltage more than 5 volts because it might cause you a danger to death. In this lab, we are going to test the relationship between the strength of the electromagnetics, the numbers of mole we increase into the systems, and the numbers of coils we spinning around the nails. We think if we increase the wall from the voltage transformer, the nail can pick up more clips or increase the coil around the nail, the power of electromagnetic would be stronger. So let's continue about our material. The first thing we need to use is some of paper clip or another magnetic item. Second is the nails. The third thing is the voltage transformers. transformers. Fourth thing is the wires and the final thing is the alligator clip. Procedures. First, wrap the nail with a wire. Second, connect the two ends of the wire with an electric source. Or in this case a battery. Third, Use two different number of coil and electricity. And lastly, roll down the number of paper clips that a nail can hold in each way. The result is like what we expect. When we increase the coil in the nail, the electromagnetic force also increase. And also when we increase the voltage, the electromagnetics also increased. Therefore, the nail can pick up more paper clip. Conclusion: The reason why more voltage makes an electromagnetic force to be stronger is because, according to the Faraday law of induction, which describes that electric current produces a magnetic field. More magnetic fields cause the power of electromagnetics to be stronger and also last longer. And also talking about the coil around the nail. If we put more wire around the nail, which means more coil around the nail, we would increase the electromagnetic on that nail. So it could hold up more paper clips. Let's go to evaluation on how can we improve this laboratory. In our group opinion, we think that if we want to improve the lab, we can make a chart and like increasing the round we spin the, on the core. Or like we can find another material to use instead of the nail. So we can get another result. Okay, let's continue about our real life example of how we use the electromagnetic in our daily life. Have you ever noticed about the electromagnetic bells or the house bells that when you come into another person's house, you click on the bell and then the sound happens. That's it. That is one of the examples of the electromagnetic bells. It works by having an electric going inside it making the metal being a magnet for a short time and making it pulling each other, creating the sound of the bell. Extra fact, when we give a metal a lot of heat and magnetic field, we can change it into a permanent magnet. It's interesting, nah? And like, we having an extra video of Fu Johan giving us an experiment about 12 walls spinning around the car, around the nails. Let's watch! After the 12 volt provided by
by our teacher Kru Johan. After that, our nail become a magnet for a very long time. This conclude that our fact that meaning that when we giving a metal a lot of heat and magnetic field, we can change it to a permanent magnet. Can be true. Thank you.